Alright, hey guys, what's up? Guy Tutorials here, and I have a new channel, a little tutorial on Photoshop. Um, someone requested this tutorial, so let's get started. I'll the person who requested that in the info. Alright, basically you need, an, you need an image, okay? Sorry, you, you need an image, so I have this image right here. I just, um, played with colors, played with effects, just changed it up a bit. And you just want to know how to, you basically want to know how to change the background in an image. So here we go. And again, I'm sorry that this uh, is late. I really am sorry. Okay. Because um, my computer was having problems and crap, and so I had to restore it. I don't really like recommend if your computer is having problems, but restore it. It's, look it up on YouTube or something. Um, it shows you how. This is restore, uh, this is, it's just restore your computer. It takes everything off of it except the, s the stuff that Windows comes with, and it's back to how you bought it. So you so you're gonna have to install like Microsoft style and all that stuff back in. Alright, anyway, so double click this, click OK to unlock the background. So and now this is layer zero. Now what we wanna do is we wanna he say he said how to change the background in an image. So basically what I'm gonna do is if you see this tool right here, it's called magic wand. It selects an area. So I wanna make the whole background transparent. Then I can just move this image into another background, because it's a transparent image. So I'm just gonna use my magic wand and I'm just gonna click around. Sometimes it might work, sometimes it might not. Uh, especially, uh, it's easier to do around the hair because sometimes it's harder to cut around hair. But if you put, if you um actually work for it, if you actually uh, do this for a little, not don't just, don't just do it like real fast, you'll get something some really good. Um, see how that selects that. Now let's say I want to select this. It doesn't because it selects everything. So now I want to see the different technique to get it to be transparent. Basically, what I'm doing is what I was doing is like I was clicking it in there and I was just clicking the, the delete button to see and get that, and then so I can just delete that. Before you, it won't work unless you have the layer unlocked. So what we're going to do is, right here, I'm going to take this tool over here, I'm going to do the, uh, magnetic lasso. Let's see if that works out fine. I'm going to grab my Wacom tablet, pen. I recommend using a Wacom tablet if you, uh, are getting really into this, because it's really worth it. And I'm just going to go around the hair. Hair is a very hard thing to, uh, select, I admit that. But, um... So about that, now I'm going to click the blue button, and you see I still have some remainder around right here, so I'm just going to go with my magic wand tool and I'm going to select that. Now I understand, uh, sometimes you might have a vector image which actually already comes on a white background, it's just simple, take your magic wand, click it, and, and just click delete. Sometimes you want to delete everything, then you want to go into specific spots, and like right here for example, and just delete. Now I have some still blue, it's not completely done, so I'm going to take the tool right here, I'm just going to zoom in tool, zoom in a little bit, a little too much. There. That was good. And I'm going to grab my eraser tool, which they say erases, and I'm just going to go and erase some stuff. And magic wand, I'm going to go into the little tiny places that I can't get with. And just erase. I think you erase a little bit of it. I mean, it, this doesn't make much of a difference. Um, just remember, just take your time. Do not rush. If you rush, it won't turn out good. Take your time on this. Worth it if you take your time. Now I'm just doing magic wand tool, I'm just selecting around. I like to do how I do mine. I don't know, people might have different might have different um techniques. I do mine. This is how I sometimes do mine. Sometimes I might just um select the person with quick mask, which I you learned in the uh Photoshop how to change color and eye tutorial. The how to change eye color tutorial. If you haven't seen that, please check it out because that will explain that more efficiently in detail. Basically what it does is, in quick mask, you press T on your keyboard, and you, when you color, sorry, I'm in, I'm in when you color, it'll be red, like that. And then, so let me show you an example, for example, say I wanted to just do his eye. So let's color his eye, just like that. And don't worry about it coloring red, you select what you want, then you press T again, and it selects everything except that. So you go over here, and you do right click, oops, sorry, and you click. Uh, and just make sure on mark on mark you mark you tool. Right click, select inverse, and just select that. Then if you click the delete button or something, it will just do that. I think it's just if you want to select something easier. All right, so that's how you do that. Now, 
like I said, there's tons of different ways to do this. Um, this is just one of the ways I use. So for now, I'm teaching you this way. It takes a little while. Um, then again, if you have a white background, e an easy background to sell, actually, and it won't take too long. But again, it will take a while if you want to make it nice. If you want to make anything nice, it'll take a while. So just have some patience and you know work with it. So yeah, I don't want to show you the full thing. So I'm I'm just pretending I'm done here. I think it's pretty much done. It's sometimes it's possible to get the blue out, but it's pretty much done. So so now he's on transparent background. I'm just gonna do this a little bit and then all right. Um, sometimes I, something that I like to do too is like let's take this tool. If you have a big chunk that won't get selected with with the magic wand, you take it and then just hit the delete button. That's all I do. It's really simple. Alright, that's good. Now what I want to do is I want to get a background to put it on top of. So I'm going to do file, open. I'm going to open the background. Um, I don't know. New York City. Open it bigger. Alright. So now what we want to do is once it's open, paste it. Alright, once it's open, right here, you make it smaller, and you grab the grab Nick bonus, and you just put, hold down shift. Make sure you're on the store here. The uh, pointer tool. Yeah, pointer tool. Hold down shift and just drag onto the other image, and it'll drag them on there, just like that. And that's basically it. Um, minimize this for a minute. Maximize this. See, you might see that notice that he's. I'm gonna have to crop some because it won't make sense. And see how he's like cut off right here? See, he's on the side of the image. Um, this is a crop tool right here. I'm gonna take the crop tool. So you should line him up to the side, and you're just gonna go up to his hair, and. Press enter or just press the check button, and it crops it. And so it looks like he's right in front of it. It's a nice little effect. And what you can do now is you can um you can put this, make sure you're on the nick layer, and you can take the eraser tool and you can go and erase the spots if you this might show you a little better the spots that you missed. You can go and erase the spots you missed a little bit better. Like some little spots you missed around here. You can go and erase a little bit better. What I recommend doing is not changing the color or anything. So file, open, opening with Jonas. Oh, it's right here. Yeah. Doesn't have to be. All right, I recommend doing opening Nick Jonas or your image, whoever you place it, um, and keeping him like that, normal picture, cutting him out, pasting it in there, and not change. Then once it's pasted in there, change the layer. Um, then go to image adjustments and do color balance and all that stuff. Don't do it till you're done. So that's basically the tutorial. Hope this helped you guys out. And thank you for watching.